Now if you watched yesterday's video and I was out and I couldn't find anything Oh, nothing special anyway, let's put it that way. I've popped back out after the rain today and I've found a bit of stuff which I quite like to be quite honest with you. You know, stuff like this. I mean now we are losing the colour from the trees around here. But I'm going to get a few of this, there's a lot of different um, compositions, it might not look much through the video at the moment. But I know I've got a few decent ones. Now some of the compositions I'm trying to get. Well I've got a few. They might look alright but. What it is. Is the light's coming from the wrong direction really. But I might be able to pull it out a bit. In Photoshop or Lightroom. We'll see. It should look alright. Have to be careful down here. Where I walk because uh, it's, it's just full of mud. Where the wild boar are coming in, day and night. I could do with putting a night cam up, trail camera. There's hundreds coming through here. Must be due for a cull in the forest. Uh, much better than yesterday's uh, outing. No doubt. Nice bit of lichen there. Now I'll come out travelling light. I don't like loads of gear in my bag so I've just popped uh, well what I did I popped out with the 90D and the Canon kit lens 18 to 55 mil and uh, any images I put up will be through that and they'll be about f63 ISO averaging around four or five hundred exposure compensation changed as needed and uh, 18 mil 20 mil whatever but I'll bang them up anyway and just a small edit in Photoshop or Lightroom now I came out with two lenses the kit lens 18 to 55 mil Canon and the Canon 50 mil prime but uh, I just kept the 18 to 55 on because the ISO were low and I weren't bothered about getting, going down to 2.8 or anything like that so that's the way it works isn't it. I tried to come out lightweight as much as possible. You don't want to be carrying a camera shot where you now do you? You know where, uh, where I go in the forest walking around all the time just uh, drags you down all that weight it's no good. And if something pops up that where well, you need another lens, well, it, it's tough, isn't it? You, you know, you've got to wait for another day. Simple as that. They normally I'd have two lenses with me, which uh, I'd have the 70 to 200 Canon 2.8, and uh, either the 50 mil Prime or the kit lens. And the reason I have the uh, 70 to 200 more often than not which I haven't got today is it gives me like a 300 mil reach on a crop sensor camera so that's all right for some wildlife knocking about like the uh, fallow deer of the road here and I can get them you see whether it be images or on film and then on, on the odd occasion I'll uh, well not the odd occasion quite a lot I take the 1DX the original and I have a 400 mil prime for that Canon EF 400 mil, and uh, if I'm doing an event, it's more than likely the uh, 70 to 200. But if I put the 400 mil on on the 1DX, I'm right for the fallow then and the raw, and if uh, any chance of any bore, you know what I mean. So uh, that's a heavy setup is that so what I like to do then is I like to know where I'm going and I can be within one area for a while and see what's knocking about instead of walking around for a few hours 